I would like to help somebody else instead uh, of asking for help uh, countless times each and every day. Just imagine what it would do to you if within a split second you lose your ability to move or feel your body. You are dependent on help all day long, even for easy things like uh, taking a shower, getting dressed or even eating. You need help all the time and it's definitely one of the harshest conditions you can imagine. The absolute only way of finding a cure is by funding medical research. And therefore, we finance the world best scientists all over the world and support them in their endeavor uh, to find a cure. So the, the spinal cord, which you can take as your pinky finger, the size, is a very compact, very dense part of the central nervous system. And there are millions of nerve fibers and, and millions of circuits in it. And it's, the central nervous system is, is very poor in allowing regeneration. And that is where the research is trying to dig into. Why is it limited? How can we change this? How can we allow the nervous system to sprout and repair? So that is a big focus. Well, first and foremost, uh, it is the complexity of the injury that creates the biggest challenge. You have to imagine uh, at a spinal cord injury, there are thousands of nerve cables, nerve lines, which are destroyed, interrupted, left non-functional. So uh, motor signals coming from the brain going to the extremities and sensory signals coming from the extremities um, to the brain cannot be transmitted anymore. So the, these pathways, they have to be restored and this is a huge challenge as you can imagine. And then another challenge uh, is the financing of, uh, of projects. If scientists have a good approach, a good idea on how to solve these problems, um, they need to finance their projects and this is where Wings for Life comes into play. The biggest hurdle on the way of finding a cure is the so-called translation. This describes the step from basic and preclinical research in the laboratories onto clinical applications on patients. And this step is called the valley of death because this is the point where so many projects fail for many different reasons. I get asked sometimes, me and my colleagues have been working for so long in this field, why haven't we found a cure yet, right? Well, we are working on a very tough problem in a way to peel back the mysteries of 300 million years of evolution. When you put it in that context, what we have done in 30 years is absolutely incredible. Unfortunately, there is no single pill that will be able to cure spinal cord injury one day, it will take a combination of various approaches. The interrupted nerves, they do not only have to recover and regrow, they also have to find the right connection. And they have to be isolated with myelin in order to conduct signals again. And it's thousands and thousands of uh, nerve fibers who uh, destroyed or non-functional. So this is a quite complex uh, problem which will take uh, complex approaches to cure. My biggest hope is that we will find a cure for spinal cord injury. I would like to be a good, normal father for my daughter. It would be amazing to get more and more independency and freedom like I had before my injury. But a positive attitude and a strong work ethic are not enough. We need a scientific medical breakthrough to cure spinal cord injury. Science is hope, for sure. It's serving a community that may not be great in numbers, but they're great in need. I can tell you that the light at the end of the tunnel keeps shining brighter and brighter and we will see major breakthroughs happening within the next decade for sure.